Hi, I am doing an, wow, that was a really weird hi. Anyways, I am doing a all about Christmas tag. I'm not sure if there's already one out there named that. If so, I'll change the name, um, but that's what I've named it for now. Um, I have 10 questions, so let's see. And I tag anyone who's watching this. Uh, yeah, so number one, what is your favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song is I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. Uh, it's fantastic and I've sung it to my baby several times today. Um, number two, what does Christmas mean to you? Um, to me, obviously, it uh, represents Jesus' birth. Um, I want to say that that's, you know, what I dwell on every year. Unfortunately, it's not. Um, but... Um, you know, it's good to remind myself um, what Christmas really is about. Um, and, you know, other than that, though, it's just, you know, family, uh, making traditions, um, and, you know, just a really nice, fun time of year. Um, number three, what was your favorite Christmas tradition growing up? My favorite Christmas tradition, um, it's really the whole thing. Um, but I guess I would say... Um, being made to stay at the end of the hallway until while my parents uh, got everything ready and then running out um, and getting by the fire um, to hear the Christmas story and then opening stockings. Um, because presents, you know, yes it was fun but it went by really fast for us um, because we rip them all open at the same time like it's not like you do one watch them do it which that's kind of boring to me so I like it the way we do it but it's not as memorable. Um, what is your favorite Christmas tradition now? Um, well, Christmas traditions for us are changing. Um, we just had a baby um, at the beginning of November, and so he'll be seven weeks um, in two days on Christmas. And so we're making new traditions as a family. We've only been married for a year and th three almost a year and three months, <laughs> sorry. Um, so, you know, we've just been, this is really the first year to start making traditions. Um, one of the traditions I'm most excited about um, would be just all of like the new Christmas Eve. We never did anything for Christmas Eve growing up and um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, but there's going to be a lot of plans, you know, whether it's all watching a movie, um, having a book, um, that we read every Christmas Eve, um, you know, a dinner or whatever, whatever we plan to do, whatever I decide on, I'm really excited about um, seeing it play out. Um, okay. Number five, do you stay home or do you travel? Um, we stay home. We don't go anywhere on Christmas. Our family knows that. Uh, my family's in Florida, so we obviously, um, well, I guess you don't know where I live. I live in Ohio. <laughs> Anyways, so we don't go there on Christmas. Um, we did go there this last weekend to have our Christmas, which was fantastic. Um, sorry. But um, my husband's family here knows that we stay home on Christmas. Um, that's something that we I always did growing up. He, I think he did. I don't know. He might have gone places. But it's just really important to me to just have my family here. It's less stressful, um, you, you know, you don't have to go and do any running around, you can just lounge around in your jammies if you want to all day, um, and just really spend time, you know, the kids, once the kids get older, they can spend all day playing with their presents, they don't have to, you know, get them and then leave them right away to go to some family's house. Um, so, we stay home. Um, number six, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? My favorite thing about Christmas is giving gifts and seeing people's expressions, picking them out, um, and just that anticipation, is that the right word? Anyways, knowing that they're going to absolutely love it and not being able to wait to give it to them. Um, number seven, is Santa real or is Santa a fairy tale? For us, Santa is a fairy tale. Um, we believe that, you know, Christmas is about Jesus and um, so although our kids will know that, you know, know the kind of what Santa is, they will know, you know, it'll be like Cinderella, the Tooth Fairy, the Easter Bunny. They're not real, but they're fun to think about, you know. We're not anti-Santa. We're just, they're not going to believe that 
Santa is the one who brings all their presents. I mean, I want to take credit for something. No, just kidding. But no, so Santa is a fairy tale for us. Um, hopefully we can keep them from telling other kids that there is no Santa because I don't want to spoil it for everybody. Um, number eight. When do you put up slash take down your Christmas decorations or Christmas tree? Um, we, this year we um, did it early. Um, it actually put me into labor this year. Um, but normally we would do it right around Thanksgiving. Um, if we were going to do a meal at our house, which we probably will never do, we would do it right before Thanksgiving so it would be decorated. But if, unless I start doing Thanksgiving decorations, which could be fun. Um, but otherwise, probably Thanksgiving, like the day after, or the weekend after, or whatever. Um, number nine, do you, do your decorations have a theme? Is there a certain Christmas thing you collect? My mother-in-law collects snowmen. Um, I absolutely love penguins. <laughs> I am obsessed with penguins. Anybody, well, most people that know me know that I will, I like penguin anything. I mean, if you bring me a penguin paper towel, I would be like, oh my gosh, it has a penguin on it. Like, seriously. It's bad. So, I've been collecting penguin stuff, especially for Christmas. Um, I cannot wait to have my very own penguin tree. Like, not a tree shaped like a penguin, but a Christmas tree with all penguin ornaments. And yeah, so penguin, penguin, penguin. Penguin. <laughs> uh, number 10. Jammies or dress up for Christmas morning? Do you... Some, a lot of people um, unwrap some pajamas on Christmas Eve and then wear them Christmas morning. Um, or just get up and, you know, waddle out of bed to have Christmas. So, and then they're in their jammies. And some people get up and they take a shower and they do their makeup. Or if you're a guy, you don't. But, well, if you do, that's your decision. Anyways. Um, and, you know, they get dressed into something pretty because their nose, they're going to be, their nose they know there's going to be pictures and videos and so yeah what do you do um I personally am a jammy person I for one growing up we always did Christmas at like 5 a.m. Uh, because my parents let us get up that early and I usually wouldn't even go to sleep so I would just like be watching the clock until it turned to five um well my eyes are really dark I usually don't wear eyeshadow and there's a reason for that um, sorry. Anyways, what was I talking about? Wow, I don't have issues. Uh, I have a newborn. I don't sleep that much. But anyways, so we definitely do jammies. Um, it's just a comfortable day for us. Um, we are starting our tradition this year of opening jammies on Christmas Eve. Um, so I'm excited about that. So we'll get new pajamas. However, I we'll have to wash them first because I can't wear pajamas that haven't been washed and I really don't want to put them on the baby if they haven't been washed. So they'll kind of be new. They'll be washed but not worn. So anyways, that is my tag. Like I said, I tag anyone who's watching this. Um, and yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye.